Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're talking about the mythical, the legendary Sony A7S III and the specs that I need it to have when it drops. Let's do it. Welcome back everybody. If you're new here, my name's Dustin and I make videos about making videos. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit subscribe down below. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I'm trying to hit 500 subs by the end of February and I just wanted to shout out a few of our newer subscribers around here. Number one, MGarren27, the man. Number two, Kenya Harris. And number three, Wade is legit. You are legit, Wade. Thank you. You're super legit for subscribing. So thank y'all so much. Let's get into today's video. Why is this camera not out yet? Where, where is it? It's lost somewhere in the camera jungles and we need to find it. But when we find it, these are the top specs that I really hope it has. And so I try to keep these pretty plausible things that Sony would actually put into this camera, but also the things that are most important to me. So let's jump into the five specs that I need the a7S III to have. Number one, above all, hands down, nothing else matters is I really need 10-bit 422 colors. Okay, so I wouldn't say I need the 10-bit, but that is the thing I'm most excited about and the thing I most want in my next camera purchase. And just to give a little bit of context, I'm not a pro. 8-bit, you only get 256 shades of color in your image, in your data that you can work with. 10-bit, you get 1,024. That's like more time that's it's it's a lot more and i want i want those colors and the biggest reason i want these 10 bit colors is because i'm by no means a pro colorist i love color grading it's super fun and i think it would be awesome to work with a lot more color data in each image that i'm color grading so number two we're talking about frame rates and the frame rate that i would love this camera to have is 4k 60 frames per second if this camera had 4k 60 then i could move all of my shooting over to 4k which is something that would be super sick i could shoot all my slow-mo in 4k 60 and all my regular speed at 4k 24 and it's like 1080 is still super good i shoot and edit almost everything in 1080 right now it's awesome but the ability to move away from that and to move into 4k becoming the standard i think that would be amazing and i'm mm, i'm like 87 percent sure this camera is gonna have 4k 60. i'm almost thinking it may even have 4k 120 but 4k 60 i mean it has to right all right number three we're gonna dial it back a little bit not as intense i think it'd be super cool to change the ergonomics of the body up a little bit i'm pretty sure the a7r4 changed that up and gave a deeper grip where your hand kind of fits more nicely into the camera. I know a lot of people, especially people that came from Canon, have complaints about how their pinky hangs off and it's not a super deep. So just slight changes to the ergonomics to make it, you know, you know what I mean. When you hold like that camera and it's like, it feels so good. Right back in to video settings, we're talking about raw video. So this one is super interesting. And again, kind of along the lines of the 10 bit, the raw video would have so much color grading capability, it would be insane. But this is what I'm thinking. Sony, when the a7 III dropped, they were so ahead of the spec game. Like, Canon still hasn't made anything at the price point of the a7 III that compares to it. Maybe we'll get an EOS R Mark II, that'd be sick too. And then we have Nikon last year dropping a camera that can record raw to an external recorder. I'm pretty sure that means at the very least the A7S III is going to do that out to like the Atomos Ninja 5, but internal, internal raw recording, oh gosh, I'm not going to have any money left. <laughs> I do think internal raw recording is more of a stretch than 10 bit, but it's another one of those things where I'm like 87% sure it's going to output to an external recorder, some type of raw video codec, but I mean maybe if they just... Mm, you know like stretch it a little bit further put it in there make sure the camera doesn't explode that could be super sick oh y'all i don't even i don't even want to i don't want to offend i don't want to insult your intelligence by even saying the last one you know what it is you know if you've used the sony camera lines the cameras that have generally like the best specs for the price they're way ahead of the game they're making all these crazy things Where is the flip screen? <laughs> Yo, I actually, <laughs> I'm gonna be so weak if the video centric brand new Sony camera does not have a flip screen. I get that like filming yourself or like vlogging is not, it's not traditional filmmaking, but 
It's 2020 guys, if you're making videos, especially on YouTube, you want a flip screen. I appreciate the one on the A6400 that flips up right where the Rode microphone that you're gonna have on your camera is gonna be. It's get, I'm getting lit, but we need the articulating flip screen, oh my gosh. So those are my five main specs that I really want this camera to have. If you enjoyed this video, hit like down below. If you're into cameras, hit me in the comments down below and tell me what you want out of the Sony a7S 3 or what you think it's gonna have as far as video or photo features go. Let's talk down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more, hit subscribe down below. Make sure you click the little bell down there so that when I post, YouTube is like, hey, your boy Dustin posted. You should totally go watch his video right now and like, support. Thanks so much for watching. That's all I have for today. See you later.